Hi, I'm at COP24, so exciting uh, to be here in Poland. And I'm here with Dr. Forrest Klingerman, uh, who teaches at Ohio Northern State. Ohio Northern University. Uh, Ohio Northern University, and he also works with Green Faith. So he's going to share a little bit about his work and, about, and also about geoengineering. Yeah, Green Faith just released a report on religion, uh, especially multi-faith uh, dialogue and geoengineering, also called climate engineering. Climate engineering is the intentional large-scale modification of the climate system to try to alleviate the effects of, of uh, climate change. Uh, there's a number of different proposals of different types of climate engineering that uh, that have been discussed. Some try to remove greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide, from the atmosphere. Others are trying to affect the reflectivity of the planet. Uh, that's often called solar geoengineering. Uh, geoengineering, both uh, carbon removal and solar geoengineering, is something that religious communities really need to begin to think about uh, as a way of, of, of uh, understanding how climate change might be uh, might be addressed. Climate geoengineering is something that is increasingly becoming part of the climate policy options, um, but religious communities haven't really discussed it. So Green Faith put together a report uh, looking at how religious communities uh, can understand this, especially the ethical and policy dimensions of it. This is something that was just released on the Green Faith website. We're really excited. It's got Christian voices, Islamic voices, Hindu, Buddhist, uh, indigenous voices. Uh, and, it, and it looks at the variety of ways religious communities can understand climate policy. Thank you so much. So just give a really short summary of what exactly can Christians, per se, um, help in, in doing this. Just a few examples. That would be great. Yeah. Well. Um, obviously, when you're talking about really large-scale technological interventions, uh, there's there's a number of ethical issues, especially around justice, around who gets to decide uh, what the temperature, what the thermostat is, uh, who's going to pay for it, who's responsible for it. All of these things are the are um, something that's that the Christian community should think about uh, when we think of ourselves as stewards of the environment. Uh, this is this is a very interesting question, a very interesting conundrum. Um, can we be stewards and at the same time try to manipulate an entire earth system? Uh, that's that's a really big question. Thank you so much, Dr. Klingerman. It's always nice to meet you. Um, you've written numerous books and thank you for your work with Green Faith. Thank you.